My name is Sabir Islam. I work as an assistant professor at Sivri Vidya Sagar College under the University of Vardhaman. Today we will discuss about uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. But before we go in detail about Maslow's hierarchy of needs, uh, we have to understand the concept of motivation. <clears throat> motivation comes from a Latin word, movere, which means to move. In the organizational context, motivation means uh, it's a psychological process. And According to Rensis Leichhardt, motivation is the core of management. So we have to understand this concept of motivation very carefully. Motivation uh, categorized, mainly categorized in two categories, content theory and process theory. Content theory uh, deals with what motivates employees and process theory deals with the what motivates yeah how motivation occurs content theories like Abraham Maslow uh, Hasbach McGregor Aldafa they are content theories they describe their theories what motivates worker or employees and such uh, theories like Victor Broom Stacey Adams, Harold Kelly, they are process theorists. They describe the uh, motivation. They, they, they describe what motivates employees. Abraham Maslow, actually, he was an American psychologist. He describes, he understands human behavior uh, through his psychoanalysis. He says that human behavior depends on human needs. Therefore, <coughs> Abraham Maslow developed his uh, hierarchy of needs in five levels. At the lowest level is physiological needs. Physiological needs physiological needs are such as biological needs the needs of uh, food thirst sleep these are basic needs his main idea was human is motivated according to his needs once this needs is fulfilled a employee or worker cannot be motivated by these needs alone an employer should provide the upper level of needs. After this level, physiological or biological needs is fulfilled, a employee or a worker goes for security needs. Security needs. Security needs such as a shelter to protect himself from uh, calamities and uh, <coughs> Maslow's this uh, hierarchy of needs actually first came in uh, 1943 he wrote a classic paper which was uh, entitled like a theory of human motivation it came in 1943 and this theory was like the first theory of motivation a systematically described theory of motivation was given by Abraham Maslow and after the security needs is fulfilled employee goes for upper order needs upper needs there comes the social needs social needs like if he has fulfilled his physiological security needs he may need a family friends or belongingness after this order or these needs are 
completed an employee cannot be motivated by these <coughs> by these needs he needs he develop esteem needs esteem needs Esteem needs are, can be categorized in two categories achievement needs and recognition needs. Achievement needs means an employee needs independence in his work, or recognition can be appreciation in the organization that he is working, or at the highest level is self actualization. Self actualization is Actually, the the top of the pyramid. That that means that an employee is fully created or fully developed his potential. He cannot be motivated after this. He is uh, totally motivated by himself. Actually, this is. <sighs> yeah. Hierarchy of needs. Okay, thank you.